Good morning to you. Thank you, Mrs. H. Fantastic, beautiful, then. Yeah, it's nice for cheering up in the morning. So, welcome to the shave to the weekend. I hope uh, you're having a good weekend and uh, everything you want and anything you're planning goes to plan. <laughs> Um, using a mix of products today I've been sent over the years um, by kind viewers, um, brush makers, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. So we're all over the world in a way. <laughs> right, the first thing is this. This is the Gillette Super Adjustable. Oh, it's more famously known here anyway. And oh, it's more famously known as the Black Beauty. But I think its official name here was the super adjustable right twist to open it is an adjustable and we're going to be using it as so um nice isn't it i've used that for a while i'm going to go with that persona red uh, come on paul wake up persona med prep third use um, i'm not going to keep using it but i'm going to use it again in this shave so that goes in there close it up Bit of a quarter turn there. Overhang to be aware of. And that's what it looks like in there. So we're gonna oh we'll open it up first. We'll go we'll start on the most aggressive. Um so eight number nine. There you go. You see that? Number nine. That's that. Soap. I've not used this before, I don't think so. Uh, made in Germany, I believe, Ballet Men uh, Sensitive Shaving Cream with Aloe Vera. Um, yes, yeah, so I look forward to trying that because it had a foil cap on it, so I've not used that one before. And that's in the Captain's Choice original. Nice scent. And the brush is quite special. Uh, if you've followed me before, you'll, you will have remembered this, very unique. Um, this one here, it's the uh, Marvin, comes in a beautiful box. This was said to be by Mike Finn, thank you Mike, along with a, another beautiful brush. And these are handmade in Italy, and this wood, this particular wood, is made of a plateau briar wood, quite a special wood, and all this sort of pitting is all handmade, you know, all done. Um, I think he's well known for his uh, quality brushes. This is a 26 millimeter silver tip synthetic it is if you look on there the chap who makes these marco finardi and this is brush 446 and on the bottom i don't know if you can make it out but it does say brush 446 and uh handmade in italy uh, marvin lovely and uh, very unique so we're going to use that I'll just move the box out of the way because I don't want to keep that there right. So we'll wet the... So yeah, how are you doing? How's the weekend going? How have the shaves been this week if you've had any? If you haven't one today, let us know. Shave of the day, meal of the day, jobs of the day. <laughs> well, let's have a... Yeah, it's quite a... It's one very clean, a silly, you know, it sounds silly doesn't it when you say clean scent. But it's a, like a, it is a clean, fresh, soapy scent. Yeah. Lathers up really nice. Goes through stages they all lather. Obviously, creams are easier to lather, but um, you get some that are quite foamy, aerated, bubbly. Uh, this is in the bubbly stage at the minute, but it's good enough to shave. That's a lovely brush to handle. You think when you're quite a edgy sort of squarish, but it's it's good to handle. It's nice. There you go, that'll do us. That'll do. 
that's perfect so that's that uh, we've loaded the rake car we're ahead of ourselves rinse this uh, oh, look at this lathered up and rinsed off yet <laughs> right I think the best prep for a shave is a shower, isn't it? If you can. But uh, like today, um, I wasn't having a shower. Well, I am having a shower today, but you know, not before the shave. And I used some um, face wash I was given as a gift. I don't think it wasn't this Christmas, the one before, I think. L'Oreal face wash. It's not a soap, it's a, like a gel type thing. You wet your face and it lathers up. And then uh, it's non-tightening and all that sort of stuff. And it was good, it felt good. So I've had a, that's my sort of prep today. So I'm not gonna use a pre-shave. And uh, we'll, that can go. <laughs> so we'll get lather in there. Nice scent, there's a bit of a powdery to that bit of a, um, a light floral ish hint at the moment it might not have anything like that in it but it's coming across like that lovely it's a nice uh, as i say it is a fresh it's a fresh clean scent lathers up nicely So we'll uh, heat up the Gillette, the um, super adjustable of the Black Beauty. Black Beauty is better than it. It's sort of worldwide known as that. So here we go. We're on setting nine, most aggressive setting on this razor. And we're using the Persona Med Prep third use. So we'll see how we get on. You should be able to hear this, yeah. Oh, it's lovely and comfortable very lightly this blade feels very comfortable in this like it's like it's shaving you can hear the blade you can just about feel it but wow you can hardly feel it Good slickness on the uh, shaving cream. Lots of whiskers in the sink. That is a nice scent, that. I thought, it, I don't know why, I thought it'd just be like a sort of a standard, what can I say, like a Nivea type standard scent but it's nice quite different so we're on setting nine the most aggressive But it's very comfortable, very smooth. There is diamond, I don't know if you can see it on this, on the black part there, the black beauty. There is diamond knurling, so it's a good grip on it. It's head heavy, there's a lot of metal up here with the adjuster as well. And I'd better rinse these whiskers. <laughs> I always think of my mother. Yeah, that's lovely slickness. Residual. We we'll go for a. Didn't need to use all that cream. That blob was. Could have used half a thumbnail already. Lovely. Special brush, isn't it? Unique. I like things like this. 
you may have one yourselves or you may have well if you watched my last video i used it uh, last year um i put a link under that i'll put another one under this if you'll never look it's worth it's worth looking at the gallery page of all the brushes he's made you know all they're all sort of unique really so we'll undo this now slacken it off and we'll put glasses back on because i can't see a thing and we'll take it down now so from nine eight seven we've got a six which in this case is a dot in between seven and five so lock that yeah that's it and across the growth we go so uh Sunday lunch shot. I was saying last night in the hot and spicy that um, didn't have a plan because we went out yesterday for lunch, for lunch. And uh, so I'm going to do a, what we call a brunch, which is a breakfast lunch in one, and it'll be bacon, um, bacon, eggs, sausage, black pudding, mushrooms, tomatoes, um, and toast on the side. Or oh, say how I feel, it might be fried bread. Well, if I do fried bread, I'll have to fry the bacon because I usually grill the bacon, but I'm going to have to fry the eggs and things, so and the mushrooms I may fry the bacon. And that's when you have lovely fried bread, isn't it? When it's in the bacon fat. God, I'm going. <laughs> Could eat it now. But it wouldn't be a brunch then, it'd be a breakfast. Lovely. Nice razor. Be a good daily razor that. Because uh, I personally think something like that would be good for someone who's starting out. If you know you're gonna I'm gonna say this. If you oh no, if you've started out and you know this is what I want to do, this is the way I want to shave, but you're not sure of a razor, you're not sure of the aggression yet. An adjustable would be the way to go because you're purchasing one razor this is a vintage and then you can adjust up and down in the aggression depending on what sort of mood you're in or what sort of razor, uh, blade you're using and you know if if that's your sort of thing but uh, that's really nice and now beautiful Aloe vera. I tell you what it could be, the scent could have, that's why I like that scent probably to the aloe vera in it, whatever scent the basic shaving cream is. I think the addition of aloe vera uh, has helped it, especially for me because I like the scent of aloe vera. Right, open it up again, we'll take it down. Oh, six, five, four. Should we do four? Three. No, we're doing odd one of three. Uh, nice to change it up. There you go. So we're going now against the growth using the ballet, Bally men. Sorry if I've murdered the pronunciation there. Bally. That's a nice, that's a mild setting. 
I don't think I'd go any milder in this shave because the slickness is good. I don't mind. Starts uh, gliding over. That is lovely. So, uh, Any new products on oh, that good slickness? Any new products on the way? Or can you say if somebody's near you? <laughs> that is good slickness. Slickness, three, two, one, pick up time, baby. We'll, uh, uh, this is nice, really nice. Nice, easy, comfortable, relaxing. My shame cream. Easy to lather, slick, and a beautiful scent. Scent strength. Mm, two, three. Not strong. Uh, I'd say uh, two and a half, three. Something like that. Didn't catch my Adam's apple this time. Wow, that's... Beautiful. Cold water rinse then. That's an invigorating part. So, I'm going to use Humphreys Witch Hazel, the citrus, citrus type. Oh, that's nice. What's that? And then, I'm going to use this stuff. Hega or Hega. Uh, this is the, what is it made this? Made in Sweden. I hope I'm saying that right. Hega or Hega. The aftershave. Very colourful. Oh, no sting with that. Nice scent, quite a mild scent. 
from these but it's lovely that's a fresh scent almost um what can i say Oh, citrus, yeah, citrona, citronella. So it's like a, yeah, quite a, I'm not, I wouldn't say it's very citrusy, but it's a, it's a nice fresh. So that must be the citrus in it, giving it that sort of a take. That's nice. And then I think we're heading, where are we now? Romania, I think. And we're going to use this plant active balsam. There you go. This is a nice mixture. When it comes out, it's very, um, it's quite a light blue in colour, you see that, and it's, a, it's sort of a cream, I'll take these off, um, that is nice, cream, I thought it was a cream aftershave when I first, the, the texture of it, but it's, oh, it's lovely, very slick, it's, that's a nice scent, that's, um, that's on the, what can I say, it's like a bit of a classic root on that, classic scent. But I couldn't describe it, it's really nice though, really nice. I feel very protective. And that is it, that's what we, um, that's the end result, I think if you have a shave like that, that's, that's all you can ask for isn't it, close shave, very very smooth, good products. Everything worked well and ready for brunch. Are you coming round? I'll get a plate ready. Oh, you don't like tomatoes, right? I'll get some baked beans and <laughs> don't like mushrooms. <laughs> anyway, stuff the waffle. So we've used the Gillette Black Beauty, or its official name was the Gillette Super Adjustable, on uh, setting nine, first pass, most aggressive. Setting, what do we go for then? Six, was it? I think it was six. Yeah, six on the second across the growth. And then we went for number three, did we? Uh, Cades to growth and pickup time. And this here, very nice, easy to lather, excellent slickness, mild scent, um, very fresh, clean scent with aloe vera, which is what I like. I like that. Uh, this beautiful brush, briar. This is the Plateau Briarwood handle um, made by Marco on the... Marfin comes in this lovely box. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to the brushes, it's worth having a look, honestly. Um, as long as you don't tempt yourself, of course. <laughs> don't blame me if you, <laughs> if your wife plays it. And then uh, we've got the Captain's Choice Original Bowl. Uh, we've used the Persona Med Prep Blade, third use. Welsh Water to rinse, thank you, Paul. And Humphreys Witch Hazel Citrus Hager Aftershave. Swedish and then Romania for the balm. So we've been across the world here, a few stops. So, uh, yeah, got the wall was given in it. So, have a great weekend. If you haven't a shave, have a good one. Look after yourselves. Thank you for watching this, for your comments. Thank you so much. No channel is anything without you, and I really appreciate that. So, um, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. All the best. <laughs>